me to introduce myself. Scooch is the name, and in addition to all my other skills, talents, and chores, well, I'm the Zamboni Man. This little doohickey right here is a Zamboni machine. And with it, I keep the ice nice. Been doing it since the ice age. Well, almost. <laughs> I guess the only one that really knows what I do around here is my old pal Snowden. He doesn't talk much. Better put your hat on, Snowden. You're going to catch your death of heat. This is a great little town. Always was, even before Albert got here. Well, you know Albert, the world champion skater, the one who used to do that funny routine at the ice shows. That's the one, Baron Albert. Uh, jacket with all the buttons. Right, well, he built that house over there, and they named this pond after him. Oh, we were pals. I used to clean the ice for him, and after he was done practicing, well, he'd come by my shack for a little rum toddy. <laughs> Just to take the chill off, mind you. Oh, he'd get real happy then, and he'd talk about his granddaughter, Kate, and how much he loved it when she'd come visiting around winter vacation. Uh, it wasn't the rum talking, though, because truth to tell, I never did put any rum in those drinks. It was all toddy. <laughs> but Albert never knew. Uh, he taught her how to skate, and even then, you could tell that she had the gift. If it wasn't what happened in that first festival, she could have been a world champion, too. That's just ice under the bridge now. Still, every year around festival time, I, I think about that. What could have been if what happened hadn't happened. Anyway, as you can see, we're getting ready for another winter festival. It's kind of like the 4th of July, but with icicles. <laughs> This town is built around skating. The festival is the highlight of the year. The final night is the best, where everybody competes for the coveted Albert Trophy. I never compete in the competition myself. It wouldn't be fair to the others, don't you know? Like all the isoholics in this town, I sure get into the spirit of the thing. Even the mayor and his wife, well, they lace them up and they cut quite a figure. Chill is in the air this morning. The weatherman is giving us a winter warning. Time to unpack my heavy coat in my hat. He says that snow is on the way. Time to get ready for a skater's holiday. First we said goodbye to sun. The autumn leaves have fallen, now the snowflakes tumble. Call everyone and find a big frozen pond and build a snowman on the way. Time to go out and have a skater's holiday. Join in the magic that happens only once a year. The singing joyful. Enchanted by the dance of every snowflake falling Uncles and cousins and nephews and aunts are trying on their brand new skates Everybody in the world Every man, woman, boy and girl Everyone in the world should have a skater's holiday A skater's holiday While the skaters are thinking of the festival, 
A single mother and her young daughter are heading back to town with other things on their mind. Kate, whose wonderful imagination made her a successful author of children's books, must use all her powers to convince her daughter Lizzie that the picture she draws of their new hometown will really come true. There'll be friendly faces everywhere you look Like that magic page inside your coloring book brought by destiny back to the town that held so many happy memories for one of them. It also holds for Kate, another memory that has never been resolved. But on a wintry night, filled with new hopes and dreams, perhaps magical things can happen. Let's throw a little light on the subject. Oh, can't find the key? No problem. Sooner or later, all roads lead to home. In this case, to Albert's Pond. Oh, it may be musty and dusty. After all, it's been several years, but the things that really count are still untouched. Photographs, trophies, the medals. All here to show your daughter, Lizzie, how it was and how it can be for her. And being the good writer that you are, don't leave out the details. She has to know why this place is so special to you. And how, when you uncover the furniture, you also uncover the past. There's a room inside the house that's mine and yours. And I promise you'll feel safe. I'm so secure. We'll have a Sun is up, and I tell you, my old dog Ollie knows it's getting close to time. It's Kate's first day back, and I wonder what the young writer will write when the sun.